still on the farm, I'm still on the series of what hunger does in catfish farming. These are the things nobody will be proud to show you about catfish farming, about capital, feeding, and the consequences when you, when you fail to stock up enough feeds and when you fail to secure enough capital to feed your catfish. Catfish are very stubborn, especially the hybrid catfish, the one they call heterocleras. When you stop feeding them and you think they will be okay, they won't be. Some of those fish will not stop feeding. Some of those fish will tell you what they are supposed to look like if you hadn't stopped feeding them. So right now, this is one of the pond that we are evacuating. We are taking the fish in this pond out. These fish are matured, but they are not big enough because we stopped feeding them for over four months plus. So small percentage of these fish, they turned cannibals. They became fish predator. So a fish predator is a particular set of fish in a pond that got bigger than their set. So they will become predator to their set. They got big and they will be able to prey on the same set of fish that they came into the pond with. And these are the consequences of not feeding your fish when you stop feeding them because catfish are highly carnivorous. In our own case, it is not about lack of capital, it is capital reallocation that we did, like I said in my previous video. So this is another pond that we stocked 10,000 pieces. This one we fed them for over two months and we stopped feeding. You can see the sizes, we have about 200 grams and above, but we have some that are like four kg, three kg, like that. Let me show you some of the ones that we, that we got out of the pond. Okay, Francis, please let me pick one of those big fish. I want to show camera one line. Let me, let me come to this side because of the reflection. Let me come to this side, sorry. Now, let me show them. So this is what, come to this side, now show them. Now this, is, this one is female, yeah, you can see. It. This is what we will call a fish predator. You can see the belly. This fish will only eat other fish in the pond. So when you have this type of fish in your pond and the other set of fish that you have are small, this one will only be feeding, sorry, don't let it die. So this one will only be feeding on those small fish. And it's just little percentage of the fish in the pond, sorry. Let's put it inside, let me show them. Like how many they inside? It passed 10. Plus the one we did the pond, you go reach 20. Mm. So, like about 20 pieces of fish got big out of 10,000 pieces of fish that we stocked. And those 20 pieces, their food will be mainly fish of the same set that came into the pond with. So we are packing everything because we want to continue feeding them. In my previous videos, I explained that I did capital reallocation by moving the funds meant for feeding these catfish to purchasing of already matured fish from other farms, smoking them and selling for faster returns. So in my own case, I'm not experiencing losses because I only bought few feeds at the initial stage. You know, when your catfish are still small, they only eat small quantity of uh, fish feed. So there are no losses on my side. This is how I'm managing my own pond when capital is scarce. So we are relocating. We still have a whole lot of small fish around 250 grams to 300 grams. So we want to feed them till they reach maybe 800 grams or one kg before we smoke them. So right now we need to remove those fish predators because if we are to continue feeding them, those fish, you can see they are, they are packing them. If we are to continue feeding them alongside with those big fish, those big fish will be terrorizing the small ones. They'll be picking the small ones on a daily basis and they won't allow those small ones to have peace of mind in the pond. There are simple ways by which you can notice if there are big fish in your pond. If you're feeding catfish and you notice at the feeding spot where you're feeding that some fish are jumping away, just know that there's something big, a big fish inside that pond. A big fish cannot coexist with small fish. Small fish will only fall prey to big fish. So now, 
we are moving the small ones to a separate pond and we are moving the big ones to a separate pond. The small ones are going to be fed and they will still grow. That is the beauty of an hybrid. They don't get stunted, they don't stop growing. Once they see food and water, they will start growing fast at the same rate that they were growing. So this is not like Clarias. You can't try this with Clarias garipinos. If you try it with Clarias garipinos, you will lose money. But if it is hybrid, you are still safe. And if you want to stop feeding your catfish, if you're running out of capital and you want to start feeding them over, make sure your fish are over one kg before you do that. At least at over one kg, the, the chances of them preying on each other will be reduced. But when the fish are still below one kg, like 300 grams, the chances of some set of fish to grow big and feed on others is high. So these are the things that we experience. These are some of the problems that we have when we experience shortage of capital or maybe when we are hard to feed and we need to reallocate some capital for faster returns. These are the consequences. But thank God, we have a way, we have a way by which we maneuver. So let me show you the video because I'm using the front side of this, my phone for recording. Let me show you what they are doing. Let me show you. These are some of those big fish. You can see them there. I think there will be more than 20. And they are bringing some out now. So that's some of them. So the small ones will go to a pond. We'll give them a lot of catfish feeds and they'll be fine. These are the small ones that are being separated. The fish tried them. Over four months, they don't suffer. When we feed them now, some people, some people think they will not grow again. But I'm going to show them that's Thank you.